hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is summer um if you guys are new here hi how's everybody doing um today's video i'm just gonna hop right in guys because i watched i watched my last videos and i'm like oh my gosh i talk so much i talk so much so i'm probably still gonna talk a lot in this one but i'm gonna try to get through it because i got to film two videos hopefully in the next hour and a half and let's just hope i can get it done but you guys today's video is going to be my completed coloring pages for um november and also it's going to be my um mini haul so i'm gonna show the haul first um before i get started into the video hi how are you i hope you guys are doing well um god bless you jesus loves you um and if you guys enjoyed this video please like and subscribe comment down below what your favorite let's see what question can we ask comment down below your favorite food in the christmas season this month of december comment down below i would love to see that <laughs> but you guys so let's go on ahead and get started i'm going to do the haul portion first because i only got three things um so the first thing I got was this Chibi Christmas Pre-Shaded Coloring Book. Guys, I got it like probably like I want to say three days ago. I don't think this is a new book. I think it's been around. I haven't checked. Let me see. It should say, right? In 2021. So it's like about a year old maybe. Um, But I just got it in this week. And in this week, my kids have spilt water on it. I have... It, it's just all watered down now so it was a sad day I got so mad when it happened and then I called my husband and I said I'm so sad the boys dropped water all over my coloring book on the couch and I have like a couch with like a tape like it pulls out in the middle and there's a table so that's where I like to sit and color when I'm after I put the baby to sleep and sometimes my toddlers not toddlers I have a six-year-old and a I guess he is a toddler, my three-year-old, but, um, sometimes they hang out with me and then I put them to bed, but last night was one of the nights that they hung out with me and this book got completely soaked, um, not completely soaked, but pretty soaked, so, yeah, it's a sad day, but it's still usable, um, but I did get this Chippy Christmas Pre-Shaded Coloring Book by Jade Summer, um, I really enjoyed this a lot, actually so I'm just going to show you guys it has two sets of 25 pages the only thing I did not like is that the book came not printed right I don't know if you could see but there's like a white line here um and then on this side there's like another white line but I'm not an Amazon returner I don't know how to do that you could see like right here there's water damage um I'm not a page, I mean, a coloring book returner on Amazon. I wouldn't even know how to start or begin doing that. So I thought I'll just keep it. Then it got water spilt on it. So it's just been a headache with this book. So that's where the second copy of each image starts. So I'm wondering if maybe I should tell my sister, hey, you color a page, I'll color a page, and we could finish this book together. But this is so much fun, you guys so much fun so much cute stuff so i will just go on ahead and show you the page i colored in it now because um i mean i'm showing completed pages you're also gonna see this again in my christmas in the next video i'm gonna do a christmas um coloring book collection with completed pages so you're gonna re-see this one page guys sorry oh, excuse me i had to yawn okay um so let me go on ahead and just show you guys the page i did it got water damaged yeah um she's all water damaged right here but that's okay i know that my son did not do this on purpose <laughs> he's just a little six-year-old that just got excited and spilled water but um yes you guys this is what i colored i colored it with alcohol markers i don't know how i feel about the grayscale coloring books yet i don't know if i like them it was very awkward coloring and I don't like that it takes so much away from the brightness of the markers. I didn't think the grayscale would affect that, but I guess it does. Like the markers are so bright that I used 
and on the page they look so like dark do you know what I mean but I also realized that this is supposed to be white right here and I realized it when I flipped to the front and I was like oh those are the whites of her eyes so her eyes look a little scary and then I don't have a white marker to color her her eyes white so I'm gonna have to figure out what I do for there guys but yes this is the first item that I purchased so ignore my table guys this table is so old this desk um I've had it for so many years um, it's all like this because I'm a big planner girl so I would cut planner stickers I had my silhouette that sits on here um then it, all this is messed up from whenever I do taping and all sorts of stuff. It's just a mess. But this is the second thing I purchased, you guys. I got the Sally Berry um, Advent Calendar Cupcake Edition. Easy coloring pages. So what it is, is just every month, um, I mean every day for the month of December, you color a picture. So I'm going to start this today. It is December 1st. Um, but I wanted to get this video up and yeah this is the coloring book so every day there is of like i said a different cupcake i didn't want to buy it because i thought how lame to color a cupcake every day but then i realized you know what she actually put like different stuff on top of these cupcakes so i won't feel like i'm just coloring a cupcake every day like you know what i mean and they're so simple, guys. So simple. I could probably whip this sucker out in 15 minutes and be done with it. So, yes, this will be definitely a fun thing to complete. I hope I get it completed. Um, I usually do really good when I start and stuff like this. And then towards the end of the month, I'm, like, giving out. But hopefully this month it won't be like that because we are going to do our advent calendar with the kids. So it will kind of just, like, remind me, remind me. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So... The next thing that I purchased this month was the Crayola Super Tips 100 pack. Um, let me open it up. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm excited about this. So there is a hundred colors in here. So I'm super excited about this. Um, I love all those greens. All the pinks there's not that many reds there's like the same amount of reds as the other one but it looks like they added a ton more grays um maybe a couple more blues so yeah the greens make me the most excited because i love to i use greens a ton in my coloring pages i realized i'm a greenery girl so yes i did get these they're about i want to say they're about 15 or more on amazon but then you get like 20 more of the Silly Scents. But I found this at Target for $15. So I was like, I'm just going to get it. I'd never seen it at Target before. I'm going to get it. So I got it. Okay. So now I'm going to get into the completed coloring pages for this month. Um, buckle up and get ready, guys. Because this is going to be a long ride. Just kidding. I think I colored, I want to say 29 pages this month. Um... Yeah, I want to say I colored 29 pages this month. So not a ton, but not a little. I feel like that's a ton for me having three kids. Uh, yeah, three small kids. I have a six-year-old, I have a three-year-old, and I have a nine-month-old. So I feel like that's actually a ton of coloring that I got done. And I thought I colored more. I was, like, kind of shocked. So this is Coloring Book Cafe, 100 Baby Animals Coloring Book. Um, so it's just got, like, a ton of baby animals in it um it's kind of like that so I did color one page in here and it was this page I didn't color the background I know I probably should but I didn't I wanted to practice a little bit with shading on the tree um I kind of sucked I gave up I was like no um and yeah this is the completed page for me I know I should probably color the background I might color the background, I'm not sure yet, but to me, this one's done for me. I didn't see myself going back and doing the background, but maybe I will. Now that I'm looking at it, it looks a little bit incomplete without that background, because Coloring Book Cafe always has those borders on their pictures that they want you to fill up, I would imagine. 
So maybe I will go back in. Maybe I just felt like it was too much negative space to like, you know what I mean? But to me, that was done. I don't know. Yeah, let's just close it up and move on to the next one. So then I did color in the Camellia Angelkova 50 Winter Miniatures. Um, how many did I color in here? Just one. So I colored this one. It was a whip that my sister started. She only colored the little browns on the side of the dogs. So I went on ahead and I finished their little bodies with the brown, not just, you know, these darker browns. The only thing I was colored was the dark browns. So I did their little bodies with alcohol markers. Everything was alcohol markers. Um, and then I did their little bows with glitter gel pens. I thought they just came out so cute. I'm realizing that I really enjoy her books. Her books have to be like some of my favorites. Um, but you guys will definitely see this one in the Christmas coloring book video and all my completed coloring pages in here. I have quite a bit in here actually. So I did color that one. Then I colored in this 300 mandalas by Sally Berry. So coloring mandala designs for adult relaxation. This was so much I love this book so much, guys. You've already seen it on my channel if you watched my coloring book collection videos, guys, which if you haven't seen them, what are you doing? Put them on your queue. Watch it next. I'm just kidding. They're pretty long. They're like an hour each. <laughs> um, so only watch them if you have time, guys. But um, you saw all these completed pages. Um, but I did this one. So I started it, I want to say like about maybe when I had my son in the hospital. Uh, we were in the NICU and I was away from him, but in the hospital still. They wouldn't let us be in there 24-7 because the um, COVID, but you know, it's with the NICU. So I had to stay in a different room um, while he was like in the NICU. So then they let him come to my room with me after they got everything under control. But while he was gone, I was coloring and coloring and coloring. And then I realized... Wait, I'm actually not coloring a ton. I'm super tired. I'm going to go to sleep because I had just had a baby, guys. I was rushed out of a cesarean. So I was super exhausted. But in my brain, I was like, I'm going to color my heart out because um, I'm going to be restless and awake. But no, I ended up getting super tired. So uh, this is all 100% gel pens. I couldn't find the purple pen that I used. So I just went in with a whole different pen and different blue. And I just finished it out. And I thought it looks pretty cute. And then I did this one um, with... Did I do it with alcohol markers? I think I did. So yeah, I did this with alcohol markers. This one was super fun to color. I did enjoy it. I got a little blue dot over here. That doesn't really bother me. Um. So yeah, this was that one. I thought Thanksgiving, super fun colors. And yeah, so that's it for that book. I like to color at least one. I want to color at least one, one or two in here each month and just work my way through front to back i do enjoy coloring mandalas a ton so i can't wait to color in here i don't know when i'm gonna finish it but i do see myself completing this book because i just love coloring in here so yeah okay guys so we had a avalanche. I saw, I was watching Miss Sweets. What is her name? Miss Sweets Cracking Therapy. Is that her name? You guys tell me in the comments. Um, and she was showing, I don't know what she was showing, a haul, her coloring book haul, or I don't know what. She's like, there's an avalanche in here. And I thought that was hilarious because sometimes these books just come tumbling down, you guys. <laughs> So the next thing I have is this Mind Waves Calming Coloring Book. Um, I did color some stuff in here, but I didn't tab it. Did I? Oh, yeah, I did. So let me get this. Where is that tab? I'm like filming at an awkward angle. Um, it looks like I'm up close, but I am, but not super close. So I did color this mandala Thanksgiving colors. I thought turkey all that so i colored this one with super tips it was super duper fun i love this book so much because i feel like there's so much thick line art that i just feel like i could sit there and do mindless coloring on the couch and really just color to relax 
So I definitely probably will color in here this month again. I just really enjoy this coloring book a ton. Um, and then I colored another one in here. Where is it? What's it? Oh yeah, it's all the way back here. Let's see. Here we go. So then I colored this one. I want to say I finished it. It was a whip, but maybe it wasn't. So I colored this one. I really did have fun. It got a little bit on this side that doesn't really bother me. Um, and I really liked this pattern. I like to color patterns. So this was super fun. A super fun pattern to color and get done. In. So yes, that is it for this book. Mind Waves Calming Coloring. I got it at Sam's. I don't know if you could get it again. Then I colored in here the Kickback and Color by Number Animals to Music Volume 2. Um, there was a lot of yellowing in here. I used alcohol markers. The yellowing guys bothered me at first, but now that I see what certain alcohol markers, I don't know what causes it. Comment down below if you remember what causes it. But um, I have one set of alcohol markers that I do love to use. And I know it does yellowing they're about a year old i don't know if that has anything to do with it but it bothers me a little bit but not really because i'm gonna probably go back in here with markers anyways um so yeah so i colored this one this i don't know what this is I, w I would call it a lizard but maybe it could be a gecko or something different but i did this with fine liners and then i ended up just coming in here with super tips because i was getting really stressed out because it took me about a zillion years to color you guys so I did color in here with that one because I was using alcohol markers where I thought, okay, alcohol markers aren't going to work in this. Um, in this one because it was kind of small, smaller, but then I realized, oh yeah, they would. So yeah. And then I did this parrot, super duper cute. I love the way it came out a ton. I know the color 10 was green. I thought I was putting green, but it turned out since I was coloring at nighttime, it was like a blue green. So, but I love the way it turned out. It just came out so, so pretty to me. I really liked that. And then I did color this armadillo. Um, yeah, he was pretty fun to color. And you could see that yellowing. Um, yeah. I thought that my alcohol marker was going to go out, though, coloring all this ground. I remember that. So I might color in here again this month, but... I might really just try to focus on Christmas, to be honest. You could see the, all the yellowing that it did do on the page. I want to say the yellowing only comes from the color yellow in this, though. I do want to say that. But who knows? Who knows? Ah! I was knocking this over there. Okay, so now the rest of my completed coloring pages are in my Christmas books, which you are going to see again in the Christmas coloring book collection video. So just bear with me, you guys. Um, okay, so I colored in this Coloring Haven Christmas special. I colored a ton in it last year, um, but I'm not going to show you those pages because I want to save something brand new for the um, other, you know, video. So I colored this one with crayons. It is by Jenny Cook. So yes, I colored this one just with crayons. And then I colored this one with crayons. I love her. I think she's so cute. She's a little angel. I thought it was super duper cute. Then I colored this one too by Jenny Cook. This one was fun to color. I didn't know what I was doing on those leaves though, I'll tell you that much. I messed up on these two and then I just tried to do like an outline shading type deal with markers, didn't work out for me and so then I just ended up doing it to the rest, but it came out all right. I don't mind it. I don't mind it a bit. I don't mind it at all. Okay, um, so then I did this one, you guys. Um, I started coloring their skin first and I like, I did it all with super tips, by the way. I was like, you know what? This is too dark. And I said, I'm just going to make them all aliens. I told my sister, I called her. I FaceTimed her. I was like, oh my gosh, Autumn. I used the wrong color on their skin. I wasn't paying attention because I color at night, guys, after my baby goes to sleep. And so it's kind of dark in my living room. Not super dark, but I just have a lamp on. And 
I told my sister I'm just gonna have to make them aliens <laughs> so I made them an alien family uh so yeah this is my alien family from Hannah Lynn <laughs> so I gave them all purple hair this one was actually pretty fun to color I really do enjoy coloring her pages now that I look back and think on it and then this one this coloring page just made me upset um I colored it with gel pens a lot of glitter gel pens and metallics um but as I was coloring I served myself a bowl of ramen noodles like spicy ones because it was late night I actually finished this one last night this was my last complete or not my last completed coloring page my chibi girl Christmas one was the last completed coloring page but I was coloring this one last night and I served myself ramen noodles late at night I hadn't eaten in a while so I was like I'm, I'm gonna eat a late night snack and yeah so I say myself ramen noodles and my plate touches this and I was so upset it was just a rough night for me guys I my my couch got ruined my coloring book got ruined and now my coloring page got messed up it was a rough night for me but so that happened and then since I'm a lefty I colored all of these glittery stuff and I was working this way on the ornaments and I was coloring and my hand was collecting all the glitter so I was stamping glitter over here it was just rough but the page is pretty if this was gone and all this glitter in here was gone it would look great but yes you guys so that is that out of this book and then I colored in my Johanna Bass where it's Johanna's Christmas um ah sorry guys I'm gonna see here where I started because I don't want to show you guys my previous pages so I'm working front to back in this book. I told myself I wanted to complete it last year, but I didn't. So I'm wanting to complete it this year. I don't want to say I'm going to because, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do this year. Only God knows. So I colored this one. I love the way it came out. I love the brown that I used on the bunny rabbit. So it was super fun, simple, but like the body was still detailed. So it was pretty fun to color. And then I colored these. What are these flowers called again, you guys? I forgot. But this page was fun. This one wasn't as fun, though. I just kind of wanted to get it over with and move on to the next one. So then I colored this heart. I love blues and greens and pinks together. So this one was fun to color. Super simple. Quick finish. And then I did these, which I'm counting as two separate pages because they are. Um, this one was definitely fun to color. I just did the reds and then I did glitter gel pens in the dills. So this one was super fun to color. I see other people coloring in this book and they do like these big backgrounds and shadings and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like too much for my brain to handle, but it looks so pretty on other coloring books. I'm like, how did they turn this page into that? But I would never have the time, guys, to do that. I would go crazy because I love to move on to the next coloring page. I would go crazy being on a coloring page for that long. And I would imagine that those artworks, because it's like an artwork to me, takes so long when girls do like the backgrounds and everything. So if you're one of those girls that's amazing at shading with colored pencils and does all the amazing backgrounds, you're awesome. Yeah. So then I did this one. The little birdies and I did gel pen this one was gel pen as well all gel pens I wanted them to look different so I gave them different I was tired of the Christmas colors at this point so I just gave them different colors and then I did Santa sleigh with lots and lots of presents so yeah I colored this one while watching a California Christmas I colored the birdie picture in this one while watching Cal no this was a California Christmas I colored this one and this one I watched while coloring a Christmas castle or something like that on Netflix so super fun um and then I have to color the rest I only have one two three four pages left in here 
and I'll be done. Oh, well, I actually have the front too. So five, six, seven. I don't know if I want to color the front. <laughs> Let's just not make that. I want to finish the pages, not the front pages this year. Let's just say that. So then I colored in my Cozy Christmas from Coloring Book Cafe. Um, I know now it's not a Cozy Christmas. It's something different. I want to say it's Christmas Scenes. They changed the name and I don't know why. But I only colored one page in here. Yeah. Which is this one. These two girls. Ice skating I used. Super tips. And then I put little stars in the sky with gel pens. So this one was a fun... I do like to color with super tips. I don't mind the streakiness in my coloring page. I know that might drive some people insane, but it doesn't really bother me. So yeah. And then I colored in my kitty coloring book that I got at Target for $3. Um, but I love my kitty coloring book. So yes, this you're going to see all my beginning completed pages in here. Um... And then I'm showing you what I did. So I did this Santa. These ones I love to do when I'm just sitting there. I don't really have time. I have maybe about an hour or so and I just wanna color and sit there and color. So I do color in this book with color pencils. So um, I use Crayola color pencils. So I did Santa, all the little buddies and friends. And then I did this page. It kind of felt like a double page layout here. So I did them and I tried to color them matching what I did here. So this was fun. And then I just colored the little penguins up there and the little elf and I decorated the little Christmas tree. And then I drew some ornaments. I just did some little circles and a star. And that's all I did in there. So you guys, I want to say that is the end of my completed coloring pages for this month. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go on ahead and like, comment down below what your favorite coloring book was that I showed in here. I hope you subscribe and stick around and I will see you guys in the next video for my Christmas coloring book collection. It's technically my part three to my coloring book collection. There's one non-Christmas book that I need to just show. Um, but it's only one. So it's my holiday books, but I'm going to title it Christmas coloring book because there's only one non Christmas book. So I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you have an amazing day. God bless you. And Jesus loves you.